Hey everybody, welcome to The Living Nexus. My name is Garo, and today we're going to be taking a look at my Paramilitary 2, and we're going to upgrade this a little bit. I've done a few of these in the past. I've had this one for a while, I kind of like how it looks, um, but I wanted to do something a little different with it, so today is the day. This will be getting a makeover. This is the Digicamo version, S45VN. Don't want to waste too much of your time. If you like this type of video, drop a like. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, and uh, let's jump right in. So, first thing we're going to do is take off the lanyard. We're going to take off all these screws. We will be taking it apart completely, and then we're going to be installing a few different things. First thing is the screws to a titanium blue color. So we're obviously going to be changing the scales. The scales are going to be... Glow Rhino uh, Tritium scales. And then we are also going to be replacing the back strap with a titanium um, back strap. I will have links to all of these parts in the link in the links below. So let's do this. First, let's take apart this lanyard. Set that aside. Let's take off this because we're going to reuse that. I think these these are lynch clips. They work great. I like it. It sits deep in my pocket. Let's go to six. Yep, six it is. So we'll need a six. And then for the larger screws, it's an eight. So we'll start with the, I mean, the first thing I do on pretty much every single Spyderco is move the uh, the pocket clip. I don't like how Spyderco puts it on this side. It's just weird for me. Um, so that's that. We got those. Okay, so next, then we'll move these uh, backspacer screws. Not that it matters, but I like to separate my screws just uh, just in case. Okay, so those are gonna be free spinning. All right, so we gotta get rid of this now. So you'll wanna open this up and then you're gonna wanna slide this in here. You know, line up the holes screw that the blade out of the way. I'm just going to tighten this. We should get a separation. Okay, that side's off. So you may have to fiddle with it a couple times. Next, <clears throat> we've got to take these liners out like that. <laughs> Be careful with this one. We still have the screw attached. So I'm going to take that off. Now we're done with this. I'm gonna set that aside. Honestly, I'm just gonna leave that there. I mean, mine's pretty clean. The more oil you have on this, the more dust will get stuck on it. Let's take a look at the parts. So, we got Glow Rhino. So, that's a, it's a decent texture. It's got, I would say, about the same texture as this one as the original. What I like about this one is that it has a tritium tube on the back. I mean, it's not gonna make a big difference, but it's cool, it's a little touch. I think it's blue. I'll post a video with the lights off later. We can take a look at that if I can get it dark enough in here. Check out the backspacer. So this one removes the old lanyard tube and replaces it with this recessed one that also has a backspacer built into it. I think it looks clean, especially with the blue screws and the blue aesthetic that I'm going for. This would be a cool daily carry. First things first, uh, let's go ahead and slide that in. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add some of the original KPL, the one I usually use for my spider pose. So a little bit goes a long way. I'm gonna add, it's hard to do for these angles, but I'm gonna add like a drop there, and a drop on the other side. That might even be too much, but whatever. On this guy, it's kinda where we want it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put in the screw. 
and just kind of get it seated in there so that it makes my life a little bit easier. Next, I am going to add that spacer in. I'm actually going to take this off for now. So that's good. Next, I will throw on the liner for this one. I'll also put this. Oh, no, that's what I forgot. <laughs> My mistake. All right, so we don't need this fat one in the back. We can actually take this one off. And instead, we use this one. It's been a while since I installed one of these. And there you have it. That's that. Okay, next. Let's go ahead and put the blade on. If you look carefully, you can see that that circle in the middle, the big one, um, it actually has a little notch. It's kind of straight right there rather than um, circle. So that lines up with that one, which is also the same thing, it's not a full circle, there's a little line there. So, let's just make sure that this lines up properly, and it does. So, we'll go ahead and snap this guy on real quick, okay. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and add a few, two drops of oil, kind of spread it around, I already got a tiny bit of oil on there if that's good enough. Okay, so I just saw the brown washer. So we got to take this off, slip that brown washer in right there. And then put this on, go ahead and add these screws in. So I've never used these uh, glow rhinos, uh, at least not their scales. They look pretty good quality. All the screw holes um, are kind of counter sunk, so that's nice. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and start tightening these down a bit more. And then I'm just going to test the action real quick. So that blade is pretty damn near centered. So let's go ahead and put that in. I hope these fit. I haven't test fitted um, via Lynch Clips with this uh, specific brand, so I don't know if they're going to fit, but we're going to try, and uh, I will let you know if they work or not. So what I'm noticing is there's a notch, and that notch is making it sit, is making the clip sit a little bit higher than where it normally would, and because of that. I think we're gonna get a flush fit, but let's see. Honestly, I think it's gonna be fun. Yeah, it's perfect. There you have it. And we should be good. Spike flick. Yeah. And there you have it. The Glow Rhino Scales and the Knife Center anodized screws. Backspacer from I think it's Rift's Garage Tech. I gotta double check. I'll put it in the description below. And Lynch uh, Clips. Yeah, this is this is cool. I like how this looks. It's very sleek. Um, I have a Flytanium in all black anodized, but uh, that one is kind of slick because it is anodized. It feels nice in the hand. It's also heavy. This one, the weight is almost the same as the standard one, minus this backspacer. But overall, really cool. Let me see if I can turn down the lights a bit and see if I can get this to show. All right, so I couldn't get it dark enough, but I will go ahead and uh, put a picture in. That way you can see what it looks like in the dark. And uh, yeah, cool. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this content. If you did, drop a like. Uh, go ahead and subscribe uh, for more content like this and uh, In the comments below and let me know what you'd like to see next. I appreciate everything and uh, you guys have a good one
Take it easy.